yesterday and then I don't like life just kept piling on me. Okay, I try, okay, <laughs> so many things I wanna say. I don't know what we're gonna do today. I'll let you know in a second when I look at my phone, but yesterday I wanted to clean. Well, I didn't wanna clean, but you know those days where people come over your house? It's like the only time people come over is when it's messy and Several people came by yesterday and after the first person I was like, oh surely no one else is gonna come over even though it's a disaster And I should clean but I was doing other things and then sure enough someone else came to the door and I was like, oh my gosh Like uh, uh oh and then they left and I thought well surely no one else and then what do you know several more times that day And then everyone oh my gosh, I just it was a mess and it needs cleaned, so that's why I need to clean it. I regret my outfit choice right now because I just washed it. I'm pretty, like they're hot waters. Did they shrink? Did I grow? That's most likely what happened. I just grew so they like shrink, you know? I feel like they fit me before. <laughs> might change or I might just endure. All right, anyway, what are we doing today? Got a couple crusty bananas up there. I might make some banana cake. <gasps> yes, I've been putting together, okay, I don't know if I wanna make it today or Later, oh, I do want to make a, a pasta salad with you. I have to take that out of the freezer. So many, okay, let me make a list. I've been putting together a list of brunch recipes because I want to make a bunch of brunch recipes for Mother's Day and I thought Mother's Day was next week. Little do I know and thank goodness I have a little bit more time to prepare myself for Mother's Day. But I think it's the following, I think we've got a couple more weeks. Oh, maybe I didn't make a list. Well, here we go, let's make a list right now. And before we start, let me say this video is sponsored by Thrive Market. I'm always grateful to have them as my sponsor and I'm super grateful to you for supporting me when I have sponsored content. I'll share a little bit more about them in just a moment after I make this list because their package did arrive today and I'm excited about it. I got some good stuff. Speaking of coming in the mail, I got some like Disney essential oils and I'll tell you more about that when that comes in because that's a whole story and a half. We might go to the beach this weekend again, just because, you know, we live in Florida, why not? And so I might have to make a grocery list. Ooh, meal prep a little bit. I printed out a bunch of recipes. I'm so, do you ever like get in a dinner lull and you're like, oh, whatever, whatever. And then you find some recipes and you're excited about dinner again. It sparks that excitement. So I think I'm going to make a meal plan. I'm, I'm telling you, I printed out way too many recipes. Also a ton of desserts. Can we just eat dessert all day and all night? One Direction style, because that's how I wanna live my life. Also, probably the reason why I'm not losing a pound of weight. <laughs> I'm actually gaining weight, but don't tell anyone, okay. Also, some laundry, all right, good stuff. Oh crap, let me move this out of the way. Just don't look at that. Because it is time to share my Thrive Market order, there's a flood coming. Huge thanks again to them for sponsoring this video and thanks to you for supporting me. When I have sponsored content and Thrive Market is incredible. It's an online grocery store, but they sell so much more than groceries and they have, oh my heavens, everything you're going to need. I placed my order on my phone as I was scrolling and I keep an ongoing list of things that I need like cotton rounds. Grab these, I've been out of them and I knew I'd get them in a couple of days because the shipping on Thrive Market is just so quick. That's been my experience with them. I've been using Thrive Market for years. I get a ton of cleaning products from them. They also have really great, like better for you products. So like fair trade certified, organic, non-GMO, that kind of thing. But for a more affordable price than your typical grocery store would have them. They have amazing options for specialty foods like gluten free, dairy free, nut free, soy free, all that kind of stuff. And it's really easy to navigate the website and filter out the kind of dietary lifestyle that you live. And they're always offering free gifts. I think my free gift, my free member gift, is this aluminum foil here. It's recycled, and that's what Thrive Market is all about. Saving you money and saving the environment a little bit. They ship from a zero waste warehouse with carbon neutral shipping. More than that though, their shipping is so fast. So I love that when I'm out of something, I can order it off Thrive Market, make an order over $50 and it ships for free and it comes straight to my door before I even realize that I need that product again. Thrive Market saves me money every time and they actually guarantee savings. So if you have a yearly membership and by the end of the year, you don't save as much as you spend on the membership, they will credit you the difference. 
So there's nothing to lose, only stuff to gain. <gasps> Guess what they got on here? Okay, oh, okay. Hold on, they have so many cleaning products, which I get most of my cleaning products from Thrive Market, because they're like better for you, better for the environment. Clean ingredients, that kind of thing. You guys, they have Blue Land on Thrive Market, and I went back and forth to the Blue Land website to Thrive Market. It was more affordable for me to order it off of the Thrive Market website, and you know how much I love the Blue Land products. I recently found out about them, so I got the laundry tablets and dishwasher tablets. Awesome. Thrive Market loves supporting brands like this because they have clean ingredients. They're more sustainable. Molly Suds is also another one, so I got a lot of stuff there. I'll give you a little overview, but if you're interested in checking out Thrive Market, use my link in the description box below, and they always offer you something amazing. What is it this month? You can get 30% off of your first order and a free gift up to a $60 value. 30% off already affordable prices. You can click my link in the description box below, thrivemarket.com slash the wads will get you that percentage off. And I'm gonna give you an overview of everything that I grabbed. So here's what I snagged. Oh, I got some really good things in this order. Okay, so this was the free gift. And you guys know I've been loving the liquid IV, which I originally bought off of Thrive Market as well. So it's like an electrolyte packet, but this is a different brand. They had this on sale, so I snagged it. I figured I'd try out all the flavors. It's the variety pack. Um, they also have LMNT Element, and I've been wanting to try out some of their packets too, but um, some of them were out of stock. And they're actually on sale now, so I'm going to add them to my next order, but I'm excited to try these packets, just like extra hydration. And this was something that I was excited about ordering too. Jen Chapin had it in her order. She actually had the cake one, but they were out of stock on that. I drug my feet about purchasing, about placing my order, because I was waiting. Anyway, so I grabbed the vanilla granola butter. I've heard a lot of people rave about that. I grabbed some protein powder, some maple syrup. This is keto friendly. It's sugar-free maple syrup. And then the Primal Kitchen always has really great products too. This is unsweetened barbecue sauce. And then this one's keto too, the blueberry. Not that I'm doing keto or anything like that, but eliminating a little bit of sugar from my diet uh, won't hurt, even though I'm probably gonna make banana cake later today. No big deal. Not saying a word, not a single word. I also got some pancake mix, some spicy jalapeno. These are just little chip snacks and then I went crazy with the partake I love this brand and they have lemon cookies for the summertime so I snag some of those and my kids love all the other cookies I throw them in their lunch boxes I grab these lily baking chips these are sugar-free as well yeah no sugar added and then the Lily's gummies I love oh my these are my all-time favorite straws of all time so I ordered two more because sometimes I can't find my straws they're the perfect length they're super long and uh, I don't they're just great they're my favorite so I grabbed um, two packets of them, so I have four. Now I have six, if I can find the other two. Uh, cinnamon sugar twist, who doesn't wanna say no to that? Pipcorn is a great brand. I got some cotton rounds, I needed them. And then Clean Clothes, Clean Planet. I told you they were having a sale on their Blue Land products, so I got the laundry tablets. I got four packs of those. Each packet has 40 tablets, and then I got some dishwasher tabs, the detergent, and each pack has 40 in them as well, so I'll be set for a little bit. And then I'm newly excited about lavender, and I really like Molly's Suds products, so I'm gonna try out the lavender sheets. I have, I rarely, rarely use uh, dryer sheets, but you know, I figured I might as well try. And then I guess I was going crazy with the laundry detergent. I love the Molly Suds. The, oh, because this one was Ocean Mist. I've been using Molly Suds, but I think it's uh, a different scent. I've been enjoying it nonetheless. So here's my little haul that I have, and I love everything from Thrive Market. All right, a part of me wants to eat, Part of me wants to meal plan since I have two free hands and I'm not sure how much longer that, <laughs> that's going to be. So I might as well, okay, okay uh, everything in my brain, like, uh, trying to prioritize. First up, hydration purifies the soul. And since I am paralyzed in my decision making, I might as well take a taste of this stuff. I've never had granola butter, but it sounds real good. Bon Appetit, that's delicious. Oh my gosh, it tastes like Quaker oat cereal. Perfect amount of sweetness. What else can we taste test? <laughs> Actually, I've been waiting to dive in to these electrolyte packets. Am I opening this the wrong way? I feel like I'm not. Few different flavors. Lemonade, cherry, pomegranate, raspberry. Ugh, grape. All right, I'm gonna do raspberry. You know, I'm not a huge fan of like flavor in my water. I'm just now getting used to the strawberry liquid IV is my all time favorite. Although I haven't tried a lot of um, different flavors in that. 
So I'm gonna compare it to this and it really does help me because you know, I live in Florida. Ooh, I get dehydrated a lot just being outside running after kids and then nursing and working out and all that. So I think come summertime, I'll really be using them a lot more because we go to like theme parks and stuff. Right off the bat, hard to open. Ooh. My new straw, you know when you get new things and it's just super exciting? I've been meaning to go to the thrift store. Ooh, it is super pink. Liquid ID is not colored. Bottoms up. This is sugar free. No sugar. What? Just has all the good stuff. That's wild sauce. I like it. All right, let's meal plan. Do our best. Come on. All right. Okay, don't look around. All lies on me. Britney Spears style, okay? So I was trying to find a bunch of brunch recipes and I think I found way too many because I was filling out my phone, which I don't have around me. I probably have 11 recipes, but there's no such thing as like too much brunch. But while I was looking at recipes the other day, I went through, you guys know I'm part of the Elise Ellis's meal plan thing. I don't know, <laughs> thing, I don't know what it's called, but it's macro friendly foods and every month she comes out with new recipes. And so I'll show you what the PDF looks like. I saved them. Um, she also has like a website, it's called an app, macro friendly foods dot app. And that's where you can see all of the recipes at once. But each month she sends out a meal thing like this, a PDF where you can print them out. A lot of people ask, oh my gosh, how do you get all of your recipes to print out looking the same? Wouldn't it be amazing if, if, if there was a way to do that? Because I do love the way that it looks in my like homemade recipe binder. And so the way that mine happens is because they're all from the same person. Because I love her recipes that they are like easy, they're simple, <laughs> synonymous. They're family friendly, they're always delicious. I modify it almost every time. Anyway, here they are and you know, oh, you can't even, I'm the worst. Here, you can scroll through and then I can just print the page, you know. And every time I go back to look at older meal plans, because you guys, I have been subscribed since July of 2021, and you can go back and purchase old, uh, you know, PDFs from her, but if you pay for the monthly membership, which is like 10 bucks, some people have affiliate codes, so you can, she shares them like on her Instagram, and then you can get 10, it's like 10% off or something. So anyway, sometimes I go through the old meal plans that I have, and I find new recipes that I haven't tried before that I'm suddenly interested in, and this specific time it went back, I must have printed, I don't know, 20 of them at least? That's, well, that wasn't one. This is the amazing banana bread cake that we might make today because it sounds amazing. Do you wanna see a picture of it? I feel like on Pinterest sometimes, like I'll type in dinner ideas or whatever, you know? I try to find different descriptive words because then different recipes come up, but, in the same notion, I feel as if whenever I'm typing up anything to do with dinner, the same type of recipes come up over and over and over again. And I'm like, oh, boring. Oh, look at this. Like, is this a joke? Are you serious? Amazing banana bread cake. What? Come on, together as a family. I followed this exact recipe and it was absolutely amazing. <laughs> I love people like that because on, I used to go to all recipes a lot for you know whatever kind of recipe ideas and then all the comments would be like, this recipe is awesome. Here are all of the modifications that I made. <laughs> I split the sugar in half, I added this, I did the, and you're just like, this is a completely different recipe, what? So <laughs> kudos to her for following it exactly because I, I definitely don't do that. I mean, I follow it close enough. Apple slab pot, pineapple sunshine cake. <gasps> I'm looking at summer recipes, you guys, and I'm getting real excited for the summertime. Speaking of summertime, okay, way too many things happening right now. I feel like I need to come closer. Avelina came home yesterday and was like, hey, remember when I briefly mentioned having a like summertime bash party, like after school, like school's over, summer starting party for my friends. I was like, yeah, yeah, we didn't really talk about it, we kind of did. And she said, well, I kind of told my friends that we were doing it. I was like, okay, so then I started planning for that. Oh, hold on, let me show you the pin board I've got going. And I started brainstorming with her, like, okay, what are some of the things that you would want to do? Summertime and the living is easy. That's the name of my summertime board. Bunch of middle schoolers might not care about jello cups. 
but they also might, and I feel like they definitely might, but that's not really, that's like more of a cutesy thing. Look at this background, like a photo background, that's cool. This like balloon arch, but instead of balloons, easy peasy, you just blow up a bunch of beach balls. That's my style, nice and simple. And then, oh, getting into the bathing suits. What else did we find? Oh, it's all on Amazon. Currently, my cart on Amazon would cost me $430. <laughs> I found this backdrop. It is not actually 3D, but it looks 3D. Isn't that awesome? So that might be a summertime staple or that one. And then I found like a backyard game. I figured the kids could play in the lake. They could, we can make snow cones. We could make cotton candy. We could play a little limbo. Uh, here's my biotin. I thought I ordered that, but apparently I did not. Oh, and then a summertime dress. Isn't that cute? Oh, another dress. Okay. I recently found someone on Instagram. Don't look behind me. <laughs> So embarrassed, I told you. <laughs> I told you, my life is in shambles. We'll clean it up later. Don't hold me accountable. Let's just go meal plan. It's like, could I have not gone to the beach last weekend and cleaned up my entire house? Yeah, but who wants to skip a beach day to clean? I'm just saying, it's not worth missing out living your life just to have a tidy home. It's not. All right, well now that I have literally 500 things that I'm carrying, ooh, and I actually forgot something. I was actually happy to get the kitchen clean last night. That was a big load off me because that's, you know, it's such a mess. What a beautiful day outside. I didn't make everything on my meal plan last week. Nothing ever goes to plan. And I feel like that's okay. Some days I just don't feel like making stuff and we move on. This is the mental load of having to be in charge of all of the food. Ooh, buffalo chicken salad. See, I still haven't made that one. And I didn't eat as much yogurt as I thought I would during breakfast. I don't, why is breakfast so hard? Is it hard for you too? I don't know. I feel like once I feed everyone, I'm like, oh. what is it on the table? It keeps transferring. So what I actually have to do, because I'm not gonna go on like a big grocery trip soon. I don't know. I'm just gonna plan it out and make my grocery list and then I don't, we'll go from there. I'm a fly by the seat of my pants kind of gal. I have these sheet protectors, so I'm going to be putting uh, most of the recipes in there. Oh, and actually, okay, I started already filming a what's for dinner video, another one, so I hope you like them. <laughs> but the recipes that I feel like I'm sharing now are, you know, I, sometimes I overthink them. I'm like, oh, maybe I shared something similar to this. I don't know what's new and improved and it always has to be. No, it doesn't because I find that the recipes that I gravitate toward are the simple ones, the ones, you know, like meatloaf, but with a spin. But I made something the other day and, oh, I have to get those things out of the freezer. Woo! I grabbed these from the freezer. I don't know what I'm freaking out about. Now it's frozen pasta and I can just boil it from frozen. Anyway, do you see this? No, you don't. Check it. We, we grabbed a crib for Wolfgang. It is a mini crib, if you're wondering. Huh, that kind of looks small. It is small. This is what I wanted because obviously the addition is not complete. Although I'm pretty sure I haven't showed it to you in a while. Or maybe I have, I don't know. They've been doing a lot of work on it. They got the shingles on. Check it, don't they look great? I feel like I always share way more on Instagram about this, the addition specifically, because it's just little details uh, for now, not much. <sighs> Although I feel like every single day someone is overworking on it. The windows are starting to look fab. They've got the uh, air conditioning stuff. That's where one of the units is gonna go. We had to get another unit. And it's not done, which is what I'm getting at. And uh, even though they told us it would be finished before he was born, <laughs> he is six months. So, he, you know, he shouldn't be in the sleeper that he's in right now. So he's needing something more, but we are on very limited space. So I thought a mini crib would be perfect. Let me, ooh, this looks good. They just put this window in. I'm trying to watch my steps so I don't fall. Anyway, the back door looks fab. That window, ooh, love it. Actually, it's not my favorite, but I'll dig it. <laughs> Let's take a look. It's in a book. All right, I feel like last time I came in here, I, ooh, look at this doorstep. This, it's a little things, you guys, okay? Electrical is going in. Check out this electrical box. Ow! Have you ever seen such a beautiful side? They're actually all over. They came through. I don't know if all the electrical is done. And I actually don't even want to talk about it because 
yeah, I don't see can lights. I see a place for a fan. We have to pay extra for lighting. <laughs> I don't, I literally, like, it hurts my heart. It wasn't in the plans. Why? Uh, I don't, it doesn't matter. It's fine. Life goes on. This is the bathroom, so it looks like we've got some plumbing going on. And you know what's funny? <laughs> the other day, uh, I, yesterday we came out because... Yeah. Who was here? Oh, that's what happened. Okay, someone came to put the skylight in. Oh, there, <laughs> there it is. It's gonna be a skylight. It's gonna be so beautiful. Okay, skylight dilemma, number one. Number two, uh -huh. yesterday we came out because someone came out to put the skylight in. It's not here. This, they didn't, where is it? Apparently it was brought with the shingles, but also left with the people who put the shingles on, I don't know. It's not here, and so it's obviously not installed, but originally, okay, drama is always right. Literally every step of the way, something has happened. <laughs> I don't think I've ever spoken to someone who's been like, oh yeah, we've had a great time with the construction and everything, so I think that's just part of the gig. Okay, originally I wanted two skylights in the bathroom. You know, I love a skylight, I love natural light, so the way that they put the roof on, there is not enough space to put the second skylight. Okay, so I said, okay, no big deal, no worries, okay. We've got a window in here. It's looking lovely. They actually fixed this wall, which is great, a little pony wall, there'll be glass right there. The shower bottom, they, I bought fixtures for this, so I'm excited. Anyway, this window is nice and lovely. It'll let in a lot of natural light. So I said, okay, this is where the skylight is. Here it is, you can even see to the dark abyss up there. So I'm pumped, right? But then I said, okay, what about the third skylight that I'm supposed to have in my laundry room? Because I talked about it with the contractor several times, and he's actually the one who brought it up. And I was like, that's a great idea because I'm losing my laundry room window. And so I was like, that's actually a great idea. At first we were like, oh, you're just trying to, you know, upcharge us something, but really I loved it. Turns out they can't do it, Wolfgang. They can't do it because something to do with the roof lines and it's too long or I don't really know. It's, oh, it's above my head, but sad to report, I'm actually like really sad about it. Wolfgang is sad about it too. I won't have natural light in my laundry room. We're gonna figure it out. I feel like I'm gonna make a couple phone calls and see if someone else can do it. <laughs> Sweating in here. <laughs> Pump the AC, will ya? A bit of good news that we do have is that the closet that we literally built out just to have an air handler closet, which wasn't in the or original, original plans, Anyway, because we thought, oh, it's right there. Can't they just put it with the rest of them? So short story long, no, they couldn't. But yes, they could because, so now we'll have a double closet in the hallway. So I guess never hurts to have more closet space. So that was a win that they were able to put the air handler in the attic with the rest of them. So, you know, take wins when you can get them when they are few and far between. But other than that, the addition is coming along. We actually um, are only needing to order one more thing on our end. The vanity we just approved yesterday, so who the heck knows how long that'll take to like build and come in. Uh, the hallway floor is what we're hung up on because we're trying to get it to match our existing floors, and that is proving to be a problem. This is Avelina's room, by the way. Um, I feel like I have shown you this Oh, they framed out the pocket doors. They look great. I feel like I have shown you like a proper tour, wide angle and all that stuff in the last time I talked about like house updates or something. I mean, it's been several weeks. So to the eye, not much has really changed, but in actuality, like this electrical and plumbing and air condition, like all of that takes so much time. So someone's been here, you know, pretty frequently working. It's just all the small details. All right, back inside, what were we doing? <laughs> my shoes match my pants so well. Actually, I've been wanting to go to the thrift store and look for some sandals, look for some summer dresses, so. I know what you're thinking, didn't we just go thrift store shopping? We did. I feel like I didn't get my fill. <laughs> Also good news is that like flowers are starting to come back because our irrigation, we've had to turn it off during the addition, so a bunch of our plants have died, but they're slowly coming back to life, just like me. All right, back to business. Back to reality. <laughs> I saw a meme the other day, it was like, something to do with mom's spaghetti or he's, 
someone saw someone else, I'm terrible at explaining this, with something on their sweater. Hold on, it's gonna be bad until I find it. I clearly don't remember it at all. <laughs> I haven't shared me Monday in a while, here's one. I don't like it when restaurant servers ask, so what are you guys doing tonight? Because it makes me feel lame. This is what we're doing, Kevin. Eating at Chili's is the event. <laughs> all right, I took it so long ago, I don't know if I can find it. If I find it, I'll put it here. But I'm scrolling through my screenshots and it's reminding me, remember that French thing? I'm still trying to figure out my dining room. I was looking on Wayfair last night. I'm so, my brain, why can't I just meal plan? So many things I want to share with you. I haven't talked to you in a day. Chairs for my dining room table. I ordered the table and it won't be here for, I don't know, like two months or something. By the time you're seeing this, maybe a month. I don't remember. It'll be here in June, mid-June-ish. And so now I'm like, oh, what chairs am I going to order? Hold on, let's take a little field trip, field trip to the dining room. Ooh, ah, I'm about to just like take everything out of this room, including this mirror, and just put it at our curb. Just to the curb. No, I don't like any of it. This is okay, but I don't think I want to keep it. The grandfather clock, it doesn't work. I love it. I want a grandfather clock, but I think I want a wall one, so I'll keep my eyes peeled. I thought this might, no, that's a no. That's from the lob. This, I just can't even anymore. <laughs> Do you ever just get that feeling in your house? You're like, I just can't even. And this is the first thing people see when they walk in the door, and I just, ugh. So, I mean, there are worse things in life, obviously. I don't care that much, or I would have done this a long time ago, but I wanna get it right. Yesterday or today, I don't know, Wayfair is always having deals, and Wayfair is where I got the table, so I was looking for some kind of coordinating chair, and I found some chairs. I don't know if I wanna get black chairs or like neutral chairs to match the table. I'm unsure. Definitely not white, <laughs> because I'm not in this season of life that I'm in. Too many kids, too many messes, too much to clean all the time. So black, and then I was looking at them, but I didn't order any. But I did take a screenshot of a few. <laughs> Maybe give me another year and I'll figure it out. I'm just too fickle, it's not my fault. Also, no carpet, so I feel like already there I'm losing some element of the room. So anyway, in my screenshots, I shared with you this um, thrift store near me that had this beautiful like French provincial curio cabinet kind of thing and I don't know if it's gonna be too big for this room. I don't, did I share it with you? I feel like I did. But I also feel like a big piece of furniture can be a statement piece since there's not much that will be in this room. I'm still deciding. Look, Meredith picked me these flowers and this one is blooming. How beautiful, that was just a bud yesterday. All right, back to it. Which leads me to remember a meme I was talking about. <laughs> I'm addicted, I just can't get enough. I just can't get enough. Hey, you guys. Goonie style. <laughs> hey, you guys. Okay, anyway. Um, I wanted to share with you, speaking of Elise and her macro-friendly foods, monthly meal plan subscription. I don't know what it's called still. Um, I don't know if I told you, it was 10, it's $10 a month. Uh, you can find a discount on her Instagram. I'm sure just clicking through, you can find stuff. Uh, she also shares recipes just on her Instagram and they're fantastic, they're great. I've shared some of them with you. Today's the top of the month as I'm, film, as I'm recording this. Okay, I filmed this a couple of days ago. But she, what am I trying to say? her meal plans come out the first of every month. So I'm excited because uh, I have even more meals to sift through and add to my binder. And I actually have to get a bigger binder because my uh, recipes are just busting out of this one inch I've got going. And that's pretty exciting, okay? This is the most I've ever loved a recipe book. I have the recipe book that you guys have always asked me about. It is from Hallmark, my previous one. And it has the little flashcards that you can write the recipes down on. Well, I have like family recipes in there, recipes that are my go-tos. But for the majority of them, I printed them out or have ripped them out of magazines, etc., and just put them in the front of them. <laughs> so every time I open it up, it's just a huge mess and everything falls out. So this is such a better way to access my recipes, throwing them in these uh, laminate laminator sheets and just throwing them in a binder. So I'm really excited that I've kept up with this. 
How long has it been? I don't know. I feel like it's been a while. Maybe s at least six months. Okay. I, I feel like I made it before Wolfgang was born. That's a good benchmark for me to look back on. But um, yeah, it feels good that I have it done. And I love looking back at them. And whenever I feel like, oh, what should I make right now? I can flip through this and surely I'll find a recipe that I have the ingredients for. So I've been enjoying that. And I'm also excited about going through her May recipes because it's May. It's gonna be May. I had to do it every time you mention it. I just have to, you know? You should too. You should have that urge inside of you to sing in sync every time someone mentions it. Oh, it's gonna be May. Actually, it is May. Happy May. Happy day. I'm making my grocery list uh, right now. Well, obviously not right now, but as I'm <laughs> doing the voiceover. So I went to Costco the other day because it was on the way home from a place that I brought the girls and I just popped in to get some strawberries. They were out of strawberries and plus the girls needed something to eat. And I thought, okay, well, let's just get a Costco hot dog because <laughs> where else can you go and get food for $1.50? Food and a drink? It's ridiculous. They definitely don't make money off of it. Those hot dogs are, ma it's like a pound of meat, a pound of hot dog. It's insane. It's also a lot of meat. Uh, speaking of meat and what Costco has, they also have a chicken Caesar bake. And hey, guess who has a copycat recipe with better macros? That's right, Elisa Liss, I'm just saying. <laughs> I get no kickback from this. I just really enjoy them, so I hope you guys enjoy it too if you end up, uh, you know, subscribing to her meal plan. She doesn't even, like, I don't know her in real life. It's not like I have any benefit sharing her other than like, hey guys, I think this is cool. Maybe you will too. Okay, so anyway, um, I may, I'm making my uh, grocery list and I went to Costco, grabbed a few things, ended up grabbing like a cart full actually because the girls were with me and we were picking up uh, lunch, you know, snacks for lunches and all of that good stuff. And did you know it's almost the end of the school year, which I cannot believe it's almost the end of the school year. Oh, and then all the summertime snacks. Mm -hmm. So I'm hoping I can go to Costco and film a shop with me sometime this week because their sales switch over on I think May 7th I'm gonna have to check again so they'll have the new cells and then once I um, film it I'll share it with you so within a week's time I don't know um, maybe on the 8th or 9th whenever my posting day is look forward to that something else to look forward to super exciting I know I mean I'm excited to go to the um, you know the good Costco around me I say good but really it's just a different one so it has a few different items that I'm not used to seeing anyway I Got some stuff from Costco. Didn't share it with you. <laughs> it's fine. You guys can use your imagination as to what I got. All right, Wolfgang is hitting the mic, so gotta go. All right, here's the meal plan that I put together. I even uh, kind of made breakfast and lunch. I don't know. I don't plan on going to Costco for another week because that's when the next round of sales start. Um, so, well, uh, actually, just a few days. I don't know. I think it's a week. And then I'll film a shop with me and do all the things. But ground beef enchilada casserole, beef fried rice, uh, but with chicken, Alice Spriggs chicken, Springs, green chili chicken enchilada casserole, Thai chili turkey stir fry, that was on last week, but didn't get to it, crispy beef, that's been on it for a while, and then crock pot for Sunday, because uh, we're going to the beach. And then brownie Friday, and I did find some dessert recipes that I want to give a try. So maybe that will be in my future too. So let's make something delicious. I planned on making this, oh, maybe for the beach. Last weekend when we went to the beach, I made a bunch of stuff. I meal prepped a bunch of stuff. And I think this was on my list. Didn't get to it, but I did buy the salami. <laughs> and it's like a thick cut salami. So I'm gonna make this today. It's Italian tortellini pasta salad. Sounds really good. I'm already salivating and I, I think I should have everything that I need. So this is everything you're gonna need. It's my flavor profile. You guys know I love this Italian style. So I have salami. It's really thick cut so I can dice it up and it'll be like, you know, chunkies. And then I have some cheese, these pearls, the mozzarella pearls. They're pricey, but I had some leftover. Did I have some? Maybe I bought some more. I don't know, they're great and delicious. Sometimes I just leave the cheese out of stuff like this and it's just as good. Uh, red onion, tomatoes, but I like a red bell pepper more. It has a crunch. 
and I like the taste of it. Uh, Catamala olive, artichoke hearts, banana peppers, and then an English cucumber. And, but I just have like the baby ones. I think they're better. They're crunchier, delicious. And I'm going to cook up this tortellini. Got this from Costco. It was a double package. And I made, ooh, I remember when I made that lunch? It was like tomato soup kind of. Ooh, it was delicious. So this has been in our freezer ever since. And I'm going to cook up this and then we'll whip it all together. Basically just chop and drop. I think this will be a nice refreshing pasta salad. I'm going to start by dicing up the cucumbers and they're so small so I'm just gonna cut them in half and then go from there just you know give them a little dice and slice but you could quarter them if you're using like a normal size English cucumber unless you like it really chunky man cucumber smells so good reminds me of the 2000s cucumber and melon just like summertime should be and then I'm gonna slice up the red bell pepper. Oh man, there's something about veggies. I'm either extremely hungry or these veggies are very fragrant. Those smell really good too. I have another red bell pepper that I might bust out and dice up too. And then I'm going to just grab a little bit of red onion, maybe like a quarter of the red onion. I'll leave that piece too. You know, I have those bananas rotting away on my counter <laughs> and I can smell those too. So I think we might make the banana cake today. I'm gonna open these packages of cheese and just cut these in half too, because I feel like the ball is just too big. That's a more manageable piece. Oh my heavens, okay, it calls for one pound. <laughs> one pound of salami. You guys, just for reference, this is a pound. I think I'm gonna cut this entire stack and then we'll see where that leaves us. But that is a heck of a lot of salami. All right, I'm gonna take this beautiful tray. Doesn't that look so great? I'm gonna throw it in this bowl. Man, that pasta takes no time at all to cook. I just drained it. I'm gonna let it cool down. I might rinse it just so it cools down a little faster. But I did forget <laughs> to throw the rest of the ingredients in. Oh my gosh, you guys know this is my favorite ingredient. But, um, banana pepper rings. Calls for a half, a half a cup of this. I'm gonna go heavy handed on these. Oh my heavens, yes. This is Italian lifestyle at its finest. I think I'm choking on a piece of my hair. Oh, and the tortellini has cheese in it. So I feel like you could totally omit this, the cheese in here. I have some Katamala olives and I'm gonna throw some of these in too. I feel like if you have time in your life, why is my battery dying again? If you have time, chop these in half, or if you care enough to do that. And then artichoke hearts. I'm thinking on these. I'm thinking I'm gonna pass. I'm gonna give this a mix, and then there's a sauce to make for this, a dressing, if you will. And now I'm regretting this bowl choice because I don't think the tortellini is gonna fit in here. But it does look pretty. So for the dressing, I'm gonna start with some olive oil, about half a cup, and then red wine vinegar, about a half a cup of this. A little bit of garlic, you can use minced, but I am just not feeling it right now. A little bit of onion powder in here, and of course, some Italian seasoning. I feel like this would be a great pasta salad for summer. I'm actually coming across a ton of pasta salads. I might just make a dedicated video making just a bunch of pasta salads, summer style. A little bit of salt and pepper goes in there, and a few tablespoons of freshly grated Parmesan cheese. Give this a whisk. Ooh, those chunky bits of the cheese <laughs> is perfect. Okay, great. I'm gonna see if I can shove the pasta in here. It's best not to rinse it because then it loses that starch and that's what's going to make the dressing stick to it. How are we gonna do this? That smells really good. Well, we're just gonna do it is what we're gonna do. The dressing goes right over top and we'll do our best not to make a mess when we're mixing it. This is ridiculous. We're just gonna pour it in a bigger bowl. Oh my heavens, that looks great. I'm gonna, get all, I'm gonna get all fancy with my salad tongs here and give it a nice mix. Make sure everything's incorporated. It might be a little dry. We'll see. I could always add some more oil and vinegar. I could cry because this smells so good. <laughs> this is exactly what I want out of summer. Carbs, freshness, juiciness, the vinegariness. 
Italian seasoning. I mean, come on, it's got everything you want. All right, I'm gonna pack that up and throw it in the fridge, let it cool, but not before taking a bite. Amazing, I want more. I don't know who decided tortellini, but these tortellinis are huge and also perfect. Okay, third bite. I might as well get a bowl at this point, but who am I kidding? This is my bowl. <laughs> well, I might as well test, ooh, test out these laundry tabs. And I hope they're good because I bought a heck of a lot of them. Even though I have all of that and like overstock of laundry, I never reach for the Tide anymore. The Molly Suds does such a great job. I'm gonna, half of this is already full with Meredith's things and just gonna get a load in. They say a load a day keeps the chaos away. I don't know about that, but it sure does create a heck of a lot of laundry to fold. Here's the little laundry tab. I have tried, tried the laundry sheets too, not a dryer sheet, it's for, do I throw it in here or in here? No, I'll just throw it in there, I guess. It's for the washing machine. Oh wait, I still have some up here. I used these for a while too. Laundry detergent sheets, and it's literally just like a sheet and it has, you know, it just disintegrates. It's got the soap in there and stuff. But this is better for the environment too. Zero waste and all that good stuff. Clean ingredients. You know what I haven't done in a while? Line dried my laundry. Maybe I'll do that. I probably won't. But in my head, I always think it's a great idea. <laughs> So I think next I'm going to throw together the amazing banana bread cake with cream cheese frosting. I don't know, after I made that carrot cake, I was like, this is so good. Let's try all the other veggies inside of a cake, except for bananas and fruit, it's fine. I had to make the font on this so small, I need a magnifying glass. I'm not even sure I have a magnifying glass. I just wanted it to print on one page. Like what? I don't need four pages for one recipe. Can we not? So I made the font real small. I can barely read it. I'm gonna have to take a picture of my phone and like zoom in. <laughs> it calls for sour cream, but I'm just gonna use yogurt. It's a very easy swap and it's a little healthier. And it also only calls for one stick of butter. Part of me is like, let's just make banana bread. <laughs> I'm gonna go with it. I'm gonna make the cake. What makes this a cake? I'm also gonna add walnuts. You can't stop me. Cause I'm having a good time, having a good time. What else do I need? One cup mashed banana, which they claim is about three bananas, but I'm gonna do four because I had two in my freezer and I can't just leave one banana lonely. Ooh, it's always a good time when I get to pull out my KitchenAid. Uh, I always feel so domesticated. You know what? I am gonna line dry the clothes. Uh, maybe, I don't know, don't hold me to it. I think I have everything, all the usual suspects. It's nothing crazy, nothing fancy. Cause I'm having a good time. Shoot, I'm starting to hum into this guy in my time. I'm gonna throw in one stick of butter and then one and a half cups of sugar. Whatever, it says it's amazing, okay? I'm gonna believe it. Whip this up. that's as creamed as we're gonna get. You're supposed to let the butter and sugar cream for a decent amount of time, like three minutes I think is the magical number. I think this recipe is a little different because we haven't added all the fat because we're adding in the yogurt, so it's not as fluffy as I would like. But I am going to add two eggs and then whip that up. All right, that's looking really good. Now I'm gonna throw in one cup of Greek yogurt. I have mostly plain and then a little bit of vanilla. Sour cream is what it calls for. Whip that together. I am going to add like a teaspoon of vanilla. Just a little splash. Now I'm gonna take these perfectly ripe bananas and throw these in too. This is what a banana for banana bread is supposed to look like. Overripe is how we like it. I have these from my freezer too. I'm just gonna give those a smoosh. If you're following the recipe like everyone else should, it's one cup of bananas. All right, mix that in. That's nice and incorporated, not too chunky. Next, I'm gonna throw in two cups of flour and then one teaspoon of baking soda. I give this a mix just until it's combined. And then I'm gonna throw in, woo, looking amazing. I'm gonna throw in some walnuts, just a couple of handfuls. I like the crunch that it gives. And Avelina has a dance tonight, so I don't have to worry about her eating it. We nor oh, I ruined the recipe. That's what a good recipe looks like, right? Uh, we normally have movie night, 
and we do brownies, but I feel like let's just do banana bread tonight or banana cake. Oh my heavens, this woo, looks good, tastes good. Just tasted the dough. This does look amazing. The amazing part is going to be eating it. I'm just gonna take the skin of the butter and grease this dish with it. There should be enough residual on here to get the job done. And then I'm just gonna dump the batter into, what is this, nine by 13. And it has an icing. Can't have cake without icing, right? I used to hate icing. I was missing out on so much. All right, there it is, oh yeah. I'm gonna throw this into the oven 350 degrees for 25 to 35 minutes until it's done. Oh my gosh, salmonella. How dare you, it's so good. So for the frosting, I have one stick of butter and one stick of cream cheese. I'm gonna beat that until it's nice and creamed. That looks beautifully whipped. I'm gonna add just a splash of vanilla. And I don't know if I have enough powdered sugar, but I'm gonna add whatever I do have. It calls for three cups. So here's one. I typically like to incorporate this a little at a time just to make an extra fluffy frosting, but whatever. Two, we're pretty close here. That's like two and three quarters. Whip this up. And it calls for heavy whipping cream. Well, I guess I do have to go grocery shopping because I don't have heavy whipping cream. I don't have half and half. I don't have milk. I have nothing. I have. Liquid IV. Oh yeah, that looks nice and creamy. I don't think it needs any like heavy cream or anything. Mostly because I don't have it and we'll live, we'll be fine. Oh yeah, yeah, nice and fluffy. Isn't she lovely? Wow, look at that frosting, you guys. I've been nibbling on this cake little by little until it's completely gone. And is it my favorite cake I've ever made? I don't think so. But was it delicious and I ate almost the entire confection? Yes. <laughs> yes, I did. It was really good. Would I make it again? I don't know. You're asking me too many questions here. It was good, and that's all I have to say about it. The icing was great. Oh, gosh. I'm trying. You know, you guys know. I'm trying to not eat, all, you know, stuff I don't need to eat. I'm trying to, but here we are eating an entire sheet cake. It's whatever. All in moderation, right? I definitely didn't need this in moderation. It looks way better with the bananas on that. It took me a while to figure out how to get a good uh, shot of this thing, but I think I nailed it. Oh nailed no, it. my battery's dying, I forgot to change it. Look, oh my gosh, I can see the clouds. There, oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, that looks so cool. Oh gosh, it's smaller than I thought it would be. I thought it was gonna be huge. <laughs> This finally came in the mail. This is what I've been waiting for. <laughs> Can you even believe, like, I waited a week? <laughs> We're so spoiled nowadays with Amazon. Uh, if you're wondering what it is, it was over someone's house, and I said, wow, it smells really good. What are you diffusing? Oh, crap, almost cut my sand. And she told me this. And I had heard other people talk about it too. I'm not like a huge Disney fanatic. I like Disney, that's fine. But apparently this, uh, this place, whatever, it's online, Magic Candle Company. Ooh, they're bringing the vacation to you. Oh my gosh, I already smell stuff and it smells divine. I hope nothing like cracked open. Wait, what on earth? It comes with droppers? Okay, I forgot what I ordered actually. I got a set, so apparently, this stuff is supposed to smell like certain places around Disney, and they have a whole lot of them. I picked the four most popular, you know, because nostalgia and all that. So, oh my gosh, I can barely read these. So what have we got going over here? We have Pirate Life. So this is supposed to smell like when you're on the ride, it's a pirate's life? <laughs> I don't know the name of the ride. And then this one is the Polynesian, like the Polynesian Resort. Pretty sure that's what she was, um, diffusing this one smells banshee flight yeah i don't know i guess that's a ride and then haunted is this supposed to be like the haunted mansion so i'm excited to whiff these they also had one like hocus pocus i don't know i clearly didn't buy that one this was just a set i, I guess they have candles too but it's really just for the scent it doesn't have any like extra benefits like the other oils claim to have Ooh, this one i do like the smell of this one the most Pirate's Life, okay, so fun. These are fun. I don't know, I'll have to diffuse them and see how much I love them, but I thought that was worth sharing with you. I'll let you know how I feel about them once I diffuse them.
Well, I guess I'll share this with you. I decided to make some green chili chicken flautas tonight. And uh, I thought this was gonna be a lunch recipe, but I figured it's easy enough. Food is food, let's eat for dinner. I have this cooked chicken that I'm just, I mean, really simple, right? Convenient meal, some cilantro, cheese, an onion, cream cheese, enchilada sauce. I've got some garlic powder for flavor and then some tortillas. These are carb balanced, they're my favorite. They're literally like half the carbs or half the calories, I think, than a normal tortilla. And then when I run out of those, I'll have these. So I don't know how many it's gonna fill up, maybe 12. First thing I'm gonna do is give this onion the old chippity chop. And then I'm gonna cook it up just real quick with some salt and pepper, just until it's soft. The onions are looking okay. I'm just gonna keep them in while I kind of thaw out this meat a little bit. I'm using just the whole package. It's 22 ounces, whatever you have. So for the other ingredients, I'm just gonna throw them all together. I have a stick of cream cheese, a bundle of cilantro. I don't know where my scissors are, so I'm just gonna chop this up just a little bit. Fresh herbs, always elevate a dish. A little bit of garlic in there, maybe a little more. Of course, some salt and pepper, the OGs. And then I have a can of green enchilada sauce. I love the green. I like the red, love the green. So use whatever you like or whatever you want. And it also calls for some green chilies. I am without those. For whatever reason, I thought I had a ton, like an overflow. I have none, nothing. <laughs> I shouldn't be surprised at this point. Then I'm gonna throw in some cheese. I'm gonna do a handful of that. I'm just gonna get rid of this. I'm gonna do the rest of what I have. And then mix this up. Talk about a super simple dinner idea. There's no skill involved, not really much thought involved. All these ingredients I already had on hand. I didn't have anything planned. And you work with what you have. This is all cooked, so I'm just gonna add it into this cheese mixture, mix it all together, and then fill up my tortillas. Wolfgang is currently pulling my hair, so it's, if it sounds like I'm in agony, <laughs> It's because, oh, it's because I am. All those baby hairs. It's like, how do babies get such a grip on things? Man, it's the strongest thing in the world, a baby's I, grip. Oh. All right. Makes me question my own strength, I tell you. These were fantastic. I don't remember the official name, flautas or something. I ate them with lettuce. And then also, uh, as I went to Costco a couple days later, we had these as leftovers. And so I also grabbed the white queso. Oh my gosh, Cinco de Mayo is coming up and that's my favorite. It's my favorite. These things are so stinking good. I would recommend like maybe folding them like a burrito because on the pan, they did kind of explode. I don't know if I maybe cooked them for too long or I wrapped them too tight or whatever, but they did like, and I had to stuff them back in. But other than that, they were fantastic. They tasted a delicious. Okay, that is it. I need to get that crib in my room. I'll, I'll get there when I get there. I think I'm actually gonna also film a cleaning video because my house is in shambles. But that is it for hanging out with me today. Thanks so much for keeping me company. I hope you enjoyed my company. And don't forget to check out Thrive Market. My link is in the description box below, thrivemarket.com slash the wads. Gets you 30% off of your first order and a free gift up to a $60 value. Let me know the cool things that you find and I'll try them out too. If you want to subscribe, put a little happy in your day and I'll see you next time. Bye.